There is an extraordinary situation developing here at this Ukrainian military base outside the regional capital, Simferopol. You can see in the distance here, Russian troops in unmarked uniforms. They've now surrounded the base. It's pretty large. But over here, you get a sense of just how many have arrived. These personnel carriers carrying hundreds of troops. You can see the Russian soldiers here. Of course, their uniforms carrying no insignia at all. It's hard to know, of course, exactly what's going on here. Certainly, this base has now been surrounded by hundreds of Russian troops. They've contained it. They've neutralized it. Have they taken, though, now this strategic location? Again, it's hard to say. But the unity government in Kiev says that what we are witnessing here is an act of aggression. We are ready to protect the base and our military equipment. I repeat, we hope for a compromise to be reached, a decision. When there are soldiers on both sides with weapons, you need to make sure during the talks that the main goal is to keep the weapons from firing, so they just remain at hand in order to avoid escalation, so that there is no conflict, so that there is no bloodshed or killing. It isn't clear how long these soldiers are going to stay here. What is clear, though, is that the Ukrainian government has now lost control of this territory. You can see Ukrainian military hardware behind me. Again, it can't be used. The base has been effectively locked up and the troops, the Ukrainian troops, have been kept inside by these Russian forces.